Hello, everybody, and welcome back to There's a Will. We're doing a travel edition with my guest star. My guest, my guest star. <laughs> You're very kind. Uh, Nicholas Richardson, no relation. I want to point that out immediately. Say do I. Say do because, I. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want people writing about nepotism on this show. No, nor do I. It's never going to happen. No. Um, uh, but my cousin will be on. My actual cousin will be on the next show. Oh, right. Good. Uh, and that's not true. Oh. I just thought I'd say that to outrage the viewer. Yes, the viewer. <laughs> yeah. The single viewer. The single viewer. Yeah. Wherever he or she is. The yes. one viewer. And I'm going to put my hat on. Is that okay? No. I mean, why? You, why do Americans always Why can't I to, wear my hat? Because we're indoors. I know we're indoors, but why can't I wear my hat? But why do Americans wear hats indoors? Well, because it's in the Constitution. No, it's not in the Constitution. It's not? There's nothing about hats in I the Constitution. I thought I'd try that. It's not. It should be. Well, it, it, yeah, it should be. Maybe we can get an amendment. Now, there's an amendment we need. Okay, yeah. I won't put it on. Out of deference Thank to you. my, to your uh, fine manners. But you do have a I fine like collection it. of hats, I will concede. You like my hats? Well, if you like baseball caps. If you like caps. Yeah, baseball caps. Yeah. I, I think I have a fine collection of hats which follow it. You, you have different kind of hats. You have I have a, hat a, hats, yes. Sort of tweed hats and... Well, I got a, a, a Sort Panama of English hats. hats. Yeah, Panama English hat. hats, yes. You have all those British hats. Are they, are they English hats? No, you have a Scottish hat, don't you? No, I don't What's think. a Scottish hat? I have no idea. I do, uh, Tam O'Shanter, something like that. Mm. Yeah, that's the Tam O'Shanter is a, like a cap with a big ball on the top yeah. and you have to smoke a pipe and... Wear a, wear a skirt. And wear a skirt when you... when you. We shouldn't say that. Scots are going to be... No, it's a kilt. It's completely different. Our Scottish from viewer, our one Scottish viewer, viewer is going to write, write in. in. No. Because gonna the be kilt horrible. is made of actually a lot of material, isn't it? Pleated. So it's actually a great deal of material, far different from a skirt. Ah, I have a good Scottish point. I mean, so we're, we're going to talk about travel. I'm going to ask yeah. you in a second. Not yet. I'm going to... Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Get ready. I want this to turn around. Turn, okay. your, turn this over in your mind. Uh, you're... Uh, three destinations outside of Warsaw. Cities? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Oh, three, not yet. It can be any destinations. I've, I've got three, too. But you'll do your three first, and we'll go on like okay. that. Um, because I, I don't know what they are. No, no. We didn't rehearse this. We didn't. No. no? I, people can tell this. Is yeah. not <laughs> <laughs> you think they can tell? No, I think so, yeah. this, They can tell. They get a good a, idea. What do you call it when everything's spontaneous? Uh, spontaneous. There's another word. Is there? It's a big, long word. You probably know it. You're okay. smart. You went to Oxford, didn't you? Yes, I did. Or is that an idle boast? It's not an idle boast. Really I even it? have a piece of paper. You, you seem more of a Cambridge man to me. No, no, no. I don't think so. You have so. that sort of supercilious... No, you don't, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't even know what supercilious means. It means I just sort think of superior. It sounds, I thought that was what Mary Poppins said, supercilious... No, uh, she uh, said supercalifragilistic expialidocious. It wasn't supercilious expialidocious? No, supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's song. why you're here, to keep me... Keep you, yes. Keep me in line. Anyway, we're talking about Scott, Scots, and there was actually a Scottish man who was mayor of Warsaw, I believe. There is a plaque a, to him in the old town in Warsaw. A long I just thought I'd throw that out. Yeah, I hadn't know. You see, it's again when we talk about not noticing things. Yeah. I didn't actually know There's that. a plaque to him in the, um, in the second square in the old town, the one just removed from the smaller one. Okay. Where there's some restaurants. It's just next to the big square. Yeah. Around the corner. And uh, I forget the name of the street, but uh, there's a plaque. And a Scottish guy was mayor. He learned Polish perfectly well, which we didn't. Well, our life is not over yet. It's not over yet. No, yeah. no. But uh, we still have a chance to learn a few more words. Of course. But not as good as that Scottish guy. And he got elected mayor. So if you want to be mayor, you got mayor to... Mayor so we still have a chance. We still have a chance. But we got to learn more Polish. The next thing... Okay, your top three things. If you had a visitor from Mars... It doesn't have to be from Mars. I just threw that out there because it's flamboyant. It conjures, you know, an image of a real foreign person coming to Poland. But let's say they weren't from Mars. Let's say they were from Venus. It's closer. If you had an extraordinary visitor, where would you take them immediately? What pops into your mind? Well, I think I'd say Gdansk, I think, would be a good base. You think Up in so? the north, yes, because you're very close to the sea. On, okay. the, on the one side, which is quite interesting. Okay. Uh, you, Gdansk, of course, has a history, uh, in recent history, of the uh, solidarity and, and, and the shipyards. Mm -hmm. Also, the old town of Gdansk is very interesting. Indeed, there is some Scottish... Why is it interesting? That's the very interesting buildings. 
architecture. You mean the architecture? Architecture is very interesting, yes. Okay. And also then to the south of Gdansk, you have the Kashubi region, which is a sort of very... Well, Kashubi is very nice. Very, it's very... Uh, well uh, played, sir. And, and in Kashubi, they actually yeah. speak their own language. It's Kashubian. Kashubian is amazing. Yes. But also it's and a very nice... the area is amazing. The area is amazing. Yeah. Marvel, there's a little t little town, and then there's, everywhere you go, there are lakes. It's actually rather nice in Kashubi. Yeah, it's been a little... So I think that, I think the, that yeah. Gdansk is a base. A to C yeah. Gdansk, there's a, there's a new, uh, a new museum. Uh, What's the museum? De dedicated to the uh, to the Second World War. So, we're, we're so getting, you're saying we're, Gdansk and Kashuba, is that one or is that two? Well, it's, it's kind of two, I suppose. It's, it's got to be two. But I was sort of justifying Gdansk in its own right. Okay, so that's a nice and, area. And also okay. in, in, because it gives you access to the sea, the, the coast is very nice. Well, let's stick with that area. Yeah. And then I'll come in okay. with some stuff yeah. about that area too. But, but, but continue. Where else in that area? area Gdansk, Kashuba, which is yeah, just no, I think I'd, I'd also take a trip along the Hel Peninsula. You would? Yeah. Why would you do that? Because it, it's very, it's a, it's a very interesting feature. Uh, on the one side you have the the Baltic Sea, and on the other side you have the the, the big lagoon. And it's just, and at one point the, the it's only a couple of hundred meters wide. You mean wide. the Gdansk Bay? Yes, Bay of Gdansk. You yes. call it a big lagoon? Well, I call I it. I call it a bay. Yes, it's, like yes. everyone well, else. I, I don't know why you call it a lagoon. Well, I think technically the bay. Why are you doing that? Because it is a lagoon, I think. Technically, technically it's a lagoon. I really? Think so, yeah. Then why do they call it a bay? Well, I think, I I think, you, if, you look, I think if you look on the admiralty charts, they, they do draw a slight the distinction. admiralty charts? There is an admiralty chart of the... Uh, are you Gdansk. privy to those? I'm not. Well, you can go and get them. They're available. You can order them from the... They're available? They're, they're available, yes. Kept updated by the admiralty. The admiralty... Let me... I'm going to make a note admiralty, of that. Yes, yeah. I think admiralty, yes. When we finish chart, filming, I'm going out straight and get chart this. For admiralty... Most, how do you spell admiralty? As in admiral. Ad... With T-Y mm. at the end. Real, with a T, it's not T-E-E? -E? No, Admiralty. No, that would be Admiralty, okay. wouldn't it? Admiralty charts. I'm going to get those. What so else is good in Gdansk area? Okay, we got the Hell Peninsula. We've got Gdansk. You said the old town's nice. Is that all there is there? And Kashuba. And Kashuba is very nice. Well, that's we could talk about Kashuba for, uh, I mean, for that's quite a half lot to be, an that's hour. Quite a lot, that would keep you occupied for quite a long time. What? Seeing those? Yes, and you, you, and you, you, you can take a trip around the... What about places. Kaliningrad? Have you been there? I haven't been to Kaliningrad. It's not Poland. No, it's it used not. to be. Used to, well, it used to be East well, Prussia, Prussia, probably. Yes, exactly. Well, it was back and forth, wasn't it? It was. It was one of these... Com yes, it, it, yes. Yeah. I've not been. I'd like to go. It's quite interesting, I gather. Really? Historically, it's quite interesting. I think a lot of the historical buildings were destroyed, of course, in the, in, during the war. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go there or not. I think it's pretty been pretty industrialized. Yeah, but and, like, but all these places, you, you, you and militarized. It's, yes, it seems like an armed camp. Well, it yeah. probably is an armed camp for the, yeah. the Russian forward base. Yeah, Very for whatever mischief they want to get up to in the, in the future. But of course, it, but, and the, historically, of course, it was the one of you know the East Prussia capital, and then slightly before that, the the, the Teutonic Knights retreated from Malbork to. Uh, Kelly. Oh, Malbork. We can talk about that Malbork, next. yes. It's my turn next. Oh, you'll, okay. well, you'll get your okay. castle in Malbork no, no, no. then, yes. Next installment. Next installment. We've got to say goodbye for now. Uh, stay tuned to There's a Will for more travel talk with Nicholas, no relation, Richardson. He's a good man. Don't let that, that uh, confuse you, just because we're not related. Uh, but I call him Cousin Nicky anyway. All right, Cousin Nicky, will you come back for the next episode? If you'll have me, I'd be delighted. Okay, because you're <laughs> sitting right here. <laughs> you might as well stay. I might as well stay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank I'll buy you so a cup much. of coffee later. That's it's very free, kind. Oh, great. Way. It's yeah. free. I thought so. There's a will. See you for the next... Uh, uh, well, this is There's a Will, but it's Poland Daily Travel. It's a little confusing, isn't it? It is. I feel like I'm wearing three hats, and I'm not even wearing one. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for the next episode of Poland Daily Travel.